of a project called Dignidad Rebelde. It's my partner, Jesus, we're working at a studio. And we started this project um, in 2007, and both of us came out of um, both supporting a lot of youth organizing, but also having had ethnic studies um, central to our education, um, being, you know, a Chicana in a working class, working poor family growing up in Southern California. Um, a lot of that is particularly what shapes um, my perspective. And I think at the intersection when we work together, um, has, this and I work with a lot of different organizations, a lot of what has happened in our particular histories um, have also shaped what we see as um, potential solutions and visions for a better world. And a lot of um, the ways that I think our politics come through is definitely through an ethnic studies lens. And a lot of our work um, is abolitionist in its politic. And again, you know, if I, when I really, really think about it, uh, most of that really comes from direct experiences growing up, you know, as a, as a young person, um, and just seeing the injustices, um, both that impacted me directly, but also like, you know, friends and family around us and extended family and, and the ways in which that disrupted um, the, the dignity, the peace, and just the right to live free of um, harm that is inflicted by the state in, in all the different kind of facets that it has and all the institutional reach that it has. So in, in the work, I think one of the practices that's really key and is invisible is our decisions around like who we partner with and how we do the work together. And I think kind of bottom line for us really is about, um, whether or not our politics are aligned and whether or not we are in a long-term transformational relationship. Um, we have moved away from doing transactional collaborations, you know, where maybe someone wants, you know, they've seen work that we do, but we don't really have kind of this um, depth of investment or like, you know, the strategies and politics. I think um, as an example, like, you know, there might be like a reformist organization that wants to do some work around incarceration but like you know the strategies and politics don't line up with kind of the with a long-term goal of abolition like we would not we would choose not to do to enter into a partnership like that and i think that has come with time and and experience to get really kind of a lot of clarity on how we use our time because uh, we see time as the most precious um contribution that we have. I think, you know, in addition, there's like the, the fact that we are doing, you know, political printmaking. It's nothing new. We're, you know, like we're just um, carrying on a tradition that has been particularly, I think, when you think of like the hemispheric practices of like Raza, indigenous folks, like the use of political graphics has been um, just historically uh, very present in our community. And so we really see what we're doing as um, sustaining that tradition. And so we do that. And, and one aspect of that is even using um, the work to both amplify the politic, but then also like raise funds for the necessary work of the organization. So, you know, we use multiple strategies in order to support this work, you know, that it's, it's not, you know, singular or flat, but that there's multiple um, ways that we can engage in order to support and advance closer toward um, the kind of uh, outcomes that we hope to see in our lifetimes and if not you know definitely in the lifetimes of the 
children. I mean, I think of my nieces and nephews every time I'm engaging, like it, it helps to land not just in the short term or even the medium term, but in, in that longer term of like, I, I see this as generational work. I will just close in saying that, you know, in doing the work, I think for us, we see all of these different issues as interconnected. You know, really kind of like all of these um, issues that kind of impact what it means to, to live well um, you know, to live a healthy, uh, robust life filled with dignity and, you know, full human potential. Um, and so that, that is also a, a critical aspect for us is really being able to connect the dots between issues that might not seem on the surface, um, as addressing abolition, but which clearly, um, when you connect the dots, are critical to people being able to live those um, lives well. Mm -hmm.